Hello Real Estate, George here, Real Estate Broker and Team Leader from Filipino Homes. And today, we will be doing some buyer education. Now, if this is your first time looking at real estate and investing, or for personal use, then I would recommend that you finish this topic so that you will be guided in your future investments. Kadalasan nakikita natin or alam natin na if someone will ask about real estate, it's always about location, location, location. But if you try to break it down, there are actually a lot of things that we need to know, especially if it is our first time. So today, I will give you five tips in order for you to know whether that project is perfect for you or not. So number one is you should always know your goal and how much you can allocate for that specific property at pre-selling and during the loan takeout. Now, why is this very important? Number one is you have to identify what you want. Do you want a property near the beach? Do you want a property in the business park? Do you want a property in the mountainside? Do you want a condominium or do you want a house and lot? Now, you will only know this if you know what you're trying to get into. Hindi naman siya parang magic or hindi naman siya like something that you decide right away. It takes time. Now, once you determine that, you should always know how much you can spend or how much are you willing to give to that property investment because real estate is a long-term commitment. So always like when I have buyers, I always ask them, what is the purpose of the investment? When do you need it? Where is your preferred location? And then we talk about the budget. This is very important so you will know what you are trying to go into. And you should also factor that into consideration. Your living expenses, should you sacrifice muna yung Starbucks or yung coffee mo so that you can have that money for investment? Should you decide not to upgrade your cell phone? And number two, you should always check if the project has a license to sell. Now, this is from a regulatory perspective because as you know, hindi naman lahat ng mga projects worth investing. Yung iba nga, hindi tumatagal or not even constructed yet. And then, they already took money from you. The license to sell is a requirement from the government to the developer, meaning once they have issued the developer a license to sell, they have already complied with the government regulations like permits and the government already did background check on the developer. Now you have to be careful because the license to sell is per project and not per developer. So before you get excited, you should always ask, my license to sell na ba yung project neto? Third one is, you should always do your own background check. Do not rely on other people or even their feedback from that project that they have either good or bad experience. You have to know it yourself. Does the developer have other projects that they have already established? What type of quality do they provide? You should also go to that site. Now, if you're an OFW or if you're living outside of the Philippines, you can ask someone, friend, a relative to check on the property because it is very important to make sure that yung investment mo is really true investment. Hindi yung pinaasa ka na lang ng ibang tao. So you have to make sure Para naman for your own peace of mind. Next is, don't be afraid to invest, but don't decide with your emotion. Sabi nga nila, you buy with your emotion. It can be true, but realistically, you have to understand how you can take advantage of this project. Is this something that you have thought about for a very long time? Does this help you financially in the long term? Does this provide the right residential need that you would want? Is this big enough for the family, let's say in two years or three years? If you're looking for investment, do I need one unit? Do I need two units? Hindi lang yung basta you like the project and then you would go ahead and buy na because that's very risky. You have to factor in the financial, you have to factor in that timeline, and you have to factor in the practicality on the investment. And the last but not the least is you always need to have professional advice. Real estate brokers like me and real estate agents can help you with that decision. So you have to make sure lang na the agent or the broker that you are talking to is a credible person. Credible meaning they have all the information you need, they will give you advice, advice, and they don't just look at it from a commission perspective. You will know that you are talking to the right person or the right real estate or real estate broker for you if there's already a connection. When you feel that they are giving value to you by giving the right advice, by giving you all the information that you need in a timely and accurate manner. So, yun lang mo na. Five tips for you before you even start investing. So to summarize, 
Number one, you have to make sure what are your goals and how much are you willing to spend every month. Number two, license to sell. You have to ask it from the developer or from the agent or the broker. Number three, do your own background check or someone you trust to check and do ocular in the area. Number four, don't be afraid, but don't just decide with your emotion. You also have to think. And number five, get a professional advice to complement what you already know so that there will be a meeting of the minds. And in that way, I am sure that your investment is something that will be worth it in the long term. So that's it for now. Once again, this is George Ryan Termago, a real estate broker and a team leader from Filipino Homes. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay at home, and peace.